Hello everyone. Well, we are back again because we want to talk about a very important topic, immunity, right? Building your immunity, immune health. How can we strengthen that? So for this, we have Ayurveda doctor, Dr. Tejal. She is with me in the studio. She is a punch karma specialist, which we all know is a detoxification, deep detoxification procedure. And she's an Ayurvedic doctor, MD, who she's based out of Stockholm. So welcome, Dr. Tejal. Hi, Amita. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Great. So let's just talk about, before we go into how Ayurveda can help with the immunity, let's just understand, right, what is happening right now. You know, we are all talking about, oh, I wish my immunity is a little bit stronger. So what do you define immunity in, in our body? See, uh, Ayurveda mm -hmm. is a uh, 5,000 years old medicine system. And uh, the main aim of Ayurveda is how to prevent having the disease. Swastasya Swastya Rikshana. So Ayurveda has uh, explained about immunity as Vyadhi Shamatva. Vyadhi means disease mm -hmm. and Shamatva means resistance to the disease. So Ayurveda has explained about the Vyadhi Shamatva and the immunity. It is also connected with Ojas. Mm -hmm. We have talked about or people know about Ojas or Oja or the Bala, the strength. Mm -hmm. So it is well explained in Ayurveda. Okay. Um, so we can explain, I can explain more in detail about that. Sure, sure. So so you said Ayurveda clearly explains how to build your Ojas, like that's the energy that it talks about. So what I'm trying to understand is people are, we are talking about people with low immunity are more prone to getting COVID-19 or the mortality rate is high. You know, so how does the immunity get compromised, right? The, I think it's a very, very important topic for people to understand why your immunity is compromised right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, diseases um, in immunity system or immune system mm -hmm. is related to not only with the uh, immunity, just a word or ojas, yeah. it is also connected with our digestive fire. Mm -hmm. It is connected with our kapha mm -hmm. and also connected with our strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we are talking about Radhik Shamatva in Ayurveda, Ayurveda mm -hmm. has explained that immunity is of three types. So first is called Sahaza, that means you are born with that immunity, mm -hmm. which is a genetic, you get it from your parents. Mm -hmm. The second one is Kalaja, or which is seasonal or which is related to your age. So right. it's like you middle age, you have good strength and so on and so forth. And seasonal is also in the winter time, you have good strength, mm -hmm. good immunity. Mm -hmm. And as we approach to spring and the summer, the immunity decreases. Mm -hmm. And the third one is yuktij, yuktija. That means you can make an intelligent um, uh, decision about diet, lifestyle, mm -hmm. right food, mm -hmm. and you can create your, build your immunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is how Ayurveda has explained. So when you get any immune disorder, mm -hmm. it is always connected with your digestive system. It is connected with your ojas. Ojas is the end result of your digestion. If your digestion is good, if your digestive fire is good, you will be able to digest the food or digest your whatever stress, your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So digestion is not only the food, but also the other things, the psychological factor. So when you are digesting correctly, you will create ojas. Or when you are not digesting properly, you will create armor or toxins in the body and that will create the diseases. So when we are talking about the immunity, in especially right now when we are facing this COVID-19, we have to also consider our digestive fire, gut health, mm -hmm. how we can improve our digestion. And digestion is all related, right? We all know that gut and brain connection is there which is which has been proven by research so much times right yes that is true and it is also connected with your our mental health yes we know that serotonin is 95 percent is secreted in our gut so it is also collected with our mental health mm -hmm. so okay so now we are so disturbed right especially what is happening in india and and how do we bring calm 
to ourselves, our mental health and digestive health that you're talking about, so that in turn, we can start at least on a path to improving our immunity, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just talk through that now. Yes. So uh, in Ayurveda, uh, it is explained that there are few things which what we call as a dinacharya, mm -hmm. daily routines, mm -hmm. then uh, rutucharya, which are the seasonal routines, mm -hmm. and then achar rasayana, mm -hmm. which is the lifestyle. Okay. So the few things, if you try to understand and change these few things in your day-to-day -day life, mm -hmm. you will be able to find that balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So starting just from uh, waking up early, Mm -hmm. at the same time every day mm -hmm. it is said it in ayurveda that you should wake up uh, before 45 minutes of the sunrise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, absolutely because i'm i live in sweden we have sunrise at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> so if you have to wake up 45 minutes before that it is impossible yes mm -hmm. so considerably we, if you can wake up early morning mm -hmm. and try to keep that time every day same mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is the first step mm -hmm. okay so when you wake up early you go to bed early mm -hmm. it is connected it's a cycle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so when you wake up early you start your day early mm -hmm. you we have few um, routine in Ayurveda which mm -hmm. are very well explained mm -hmm. and also Ayush ministry is also talking a lot about that mm -hmm. uh, few examples are like um, doing the treatments or the routines like nasya mm -hmm. nose drops mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can use um, sesame oil or you can use ghee mm -hmm. clarified butter mm -hmm. which is very simple and easy to find at home mm -hmm. so you just warm up whatever you are going to use, either it is ghee or sesame oil, you just have to warm up first and then you can put two, two drops in each nostril mm -hmm. and just breathe in. Mm -hmm. It is important that you should warm up because warm oil or warm ghee will get absorbed faster in the mucous membrane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is the one uh, routine, nasya. Mm -hmm. The second is um, oil pulling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where we use uh, sesame oil, mm -hmm. you warm up the sesame oil again, take one tablespoon, keep it in the mouth mm -hmm. and you have to swish in the mouth mm -hmm. like this and then throw it out after two minutes, five minutes, whatever you can manage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're oiling your nasal area and also mm -hmm. your oral area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is the practice, that is a routine you can follow. Mm -hmm. Also a very good practice is uh, doing breathing exercises or pranayama mm -hmm. when we are talking about the mental health yes. that is the important thing mm -hmm. and always suggest you don't have to start like for 30 minutes mm -hmm. start with the small steps mm -hmm. follow it every day mm -hmm. and see if you can manage that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because when you start doing it for 30 minutes next day you will not be able to do it yes mm -hmm. So just start with few breathing exercises. For mm -hmm. example, you can start with Om Sound, Udgita Pranayam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second is alternate nostril breathing, Anulom Vilom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Brahmari, mm -hmm. Humming Bee Sound. Wow. These are the that is like that. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are really simple, simple to do and mm -hmm. very, very powerful and very good to do it and it takes very small amount mm -hmm. or small time to do it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so try to do it every day every morning these three mm -hmm. breathing exercises pranayama mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and do sun salutations mm -hmm. if you can do at least six or seven every day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then take it till 12. you don't have to start immediately with 12 sun salutations so this is the morning routine that this that is the morning routine all of us should follow that in, when we wake up in the morning right yes correct it's mm -hmm. very simple easy to do mm -hmm. it will not take long time to do it it just mm -hmm. it will take 30 minutes if you can invest those 30 minutes for yourself in the morning mm -hmm. it's a good start of the day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then similarly gargling mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. is also very important because we are we are talking about the covid 19 it yes. is respiratory system mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so gargling is also very very good practice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where we can use uh, salt and little bit of turmeric powder mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. warm water and then you can just gargle mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this is also a very good practice to follow mm-hmm. so these are the morning routine okay. and then mm-hmm. if you can eat your breakfast at regular time mm-hmm. 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 again important is to understand if you are hungry yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when you are hungry you should eat your breakfast mm-hmm. and follow the sun cycle mm-hmm. 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 so eat your heavy meal at lunch time mm-hmm. and home cooked meal mm-hmm. warm food Mm-hmm. these are the simple methods mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. don't go for salads or mm-hmm. cold food or cold drinks yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because what ayurveda says that kapha is the main uh, dosha which mm-hmm. will get increased and will will cause the problem in especially during the covid 19 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so kapha dosha we have to balance we have to make it in the check we should not imbalance it Mm-hmm. we should not increase the kapha dosha okay and then uh, what what else okay now we are at lunch time <laughs> after that what do we do after that mm-hmm. after that it is also important that to follow and do some exercise mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so we started with the sun salutations in the morning yeah. okay. if you can practice yoga or any type of exercise in the morning that is the best thing mm-hmm. but if you cannot manage that Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then you can do that e- also in the evening time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. between 4 5 you can do the, your exercise mm-hmm. also a very important to understand how is your strength mm-hmm. accordingly try to select which type of exercise you are going to do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's very important to do it in the moderation because when you do it extreme yeah. then you are going to lose your ojas strength mm-hmm. 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 and you will lose or reduce your immunity mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so not doing of any exercise or doing extreme is also not good so you have to be in the moderate mm-hmm. so exercise is very important for mm-hmm. our body to keep our immunity high mm-hmm. then dinner is should be the light meal it should not be the heavy meal of the day mm-hmm. lunch is the heavy meal dinner is the light meal mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and early Mm-hmm. if you can eat early meal early dinner it's best mm-hmm. so you will be it will be able to digest after that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and sleep at around 10 that is the ideal time to sleep mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. try to reduce your screen time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if you can just reduce or uh, limit before 30 minutes of going to bed if you can just stop using the screens it mm-hmm. is the very good for your sleep mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because we have three pillars in ayurveda mm-hmm. which is food sleep and brahmacharya mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so these are the three pillars very important for mm-hmm. our health and for our immunity as well so the thing is you know most of the country in india they don't even start eating before 10 pm you know i mean because you know uh, and 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 that's the culture that uh, it, it's all across the country people generally people don't have dinner before 9 pm or 10 pm so that itself is a big shift right that that ayurveda talks about yes definitely so uh, dinner should be around 6 637 so you will get two and a half hours after that to digest your food so you will not be like heavy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when you are going to bed your stomach should be light mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that is the most important thing mm-hmm. people have started changing their routine because they are working from home so they can manage it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so there are people who are, have been already doing this practices mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they see the result yes yes so ayurveda also talks about ayurvedic tea right so let's just talk a little bit about herbs you know different herbs that can help with the strengthening of our immune health so definitely 
So we have herbs which are very, very um, useful to improve our immunity. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are four types of herbs which we can use. Mm -hmm. One which is help to improve the digestive health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second type of herbs which will give the nutritional value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The third one which will open the channels. Mm -hmm. For example, trifala. Mm -hmm which will open the channels, mm -hmm. which is also very important right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you have blocked channels, there is no communication. Mm -hmm. The communication will should be frictionless between all the systems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the three types and the fourth one, which will improve your ojas. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So these are four types of herbs which we can use. Mm -hmm. uh, I can suggest few herbs which is mm -hmm. like first one is guruchi or amrita mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or giloya mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is very very good for improving our immunity it mm -hmm. can be taken as a decoction mm -hmm. or it is also available in the capsules mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or powder formulation so you can choose whichever is best for you mm -hmm. uh, then the second one is uh, tulsi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tulsi is also very good for our respiratory system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the third one is uh, Ashwagandha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ashwagandha, which will help our stress. Mm -hmm. We have to talk about that also because we have been talking about the mental health. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Ashwagandha is very, very beneficial to reduce the stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then the third one is licorice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is also very, very beneficial for our respiratory system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the spices, we can have turmeric, or mm -hmm. which we can add is an herb section also. Mm -hmm. Turmeric is also very, very uh, important right now as mm -hmm. it is antiviral, antimicrobial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can add turmeric in your food. You can mm -hmm. also add in the hot milk. Mm -hmm. If you are taking golden milk at night, you can add turmeric into that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with other spices, if you like. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can mix with honey mm -hmm. and take turmeric. Mm -hmm. So turmeric is very good. Also black pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then ginger. Ginger mm -hmm. will help with the digestion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I always suggest to add, take ginger with a little bit of Himalayan salt and lime or lemon juice mm -hmm. to improve your digestion before mm -hmm. food, before lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So th these are few herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. There are few preparations in Ayurveda like Chavan Prash, mm -hmm. which is made from Amla. Mm -hmm. So Amla is also one herb which is very important right now for the immunity boosting. Mm -hmm. So Chavan Prash is the, it's like a jam paste mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. Amla and different uh, herbs. Mm -hmm. uh, then there is one Agastya Rasayanam, mm -hmm. which is also very, very good for respiratory system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So which is, which are like Rasayana, rejuvenating herbs or jams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depending on where you are in the world, the availability of herbs is limited or you can get more. So accordingly, you can choose the types of herbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the spices are easily available at mm -hmm. home. So you can mix the spices like you can take teas, mm -hmm. ginger tea or mm -hmm. coriander, cumin, fennel tea, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which will improve your digestion, which will help in the immunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and as I said, uh, sorry, I will just add one thing. As I said earlier, the treatments like nasya, nose drops, mm -hmm. then oil pulling mm -hmm. and gargling. Mm -hmm. And also one more thing is taking a steam, mm -hmm. hot water, boil hot water, then mm -hmm. add, if you have mint leaves, you can add that. Or if you have ajwayan mm -hmm. seeds, you can add that in the boiling water and take a steam. Mm -hmm. That will open the channels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these are a few things. I think these are very simple things that all of us can start at least doing it on a daily basis. Anyone has any questions on these things? We just wanted to bring some practical, simple self-care techniques that each one of us can start doing. Specifically, you know, when we are hearing about 
COVID second surge and things are not getting in control, we have to take care of ourselves, right? The self-care is very, very important now, especially. Anything else you'd like to add, Dr. Tejal, um, to the self-care technique? Uh, I think also you have to understand uh, what is your body type. Yes. Hmm? Understand what you can, uh, as I mentioned about exercise, mm -hmm. what is good for your body mm -hmm. with food and spices also, mm -hmm. if it is suitable for me. Understand when you take that type of spices or mixture or teas, see how it feels, how it feels in the body. Mm -hmm. Because I have seen people who are take, drinking lots of warm water, lots of warm teas, and then they suffer lots of uh, high increased pitta in the body. Mm -hmm. so also, so acid reflux. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand if it is good for me or not. Mm -hmm. So just observe, take a step back and observe if it is working for me or not. So awareness about self. So meditation, we miss that meditation practice. So if you just sit for, uh, observe yourself, breathe in, breathe out, mm -hmm. observe if everything is good in the body, whatever you have taken, you have digested. So this is the time to understand whatever you are doing during the day. Mm -hmm. Is it working for you or not? Mm -hmm. So I think just awareness, understanding about yourself is very important. And so I, I, I have to ask you this question since you are a punch karma expert, right? And yes. punch karma is the deep detoxification. Um, is there anything besides nasya that we can all do to help at least with the detoxification process? Yes. Uh, so when we have this season change, mm -hmm. especially when we are from winter to spring, so right now, here in Stockholm, we have spring season. Mm -hmm. So I always suggest if you can do spring cleanse or detox mm -hmm. or what we call in Ayurveda as a virechana. If you can do that cleanse, that will help to bring your immunity back to normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Removing the armor or toxins from the body is very important. Mm -hmm. And there are a few simple home detox. Mm -hmm. It's on my website also. You can observe. You can do like one day detox or three day. Or if you have, if you know some Ayurvedic doctor, please go and consult Ayurvedic doctor so you can have a proper Ayurvedic panchakarma, virechana, especially mm -hmm. in this change of season period. Mm -hmm. So that is the riticharya, seasonal routine. Mm -hmm. So it is very important to do that cleanse, mm -hmm. virechana. So removing the toxins, removing the uh, toxins which are blocking the channels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is the virechana is the treatment that we do to remove the toxins. And also in India, we can do vamana, which is a vomiting mm -hmm. treatment. We don't do this treatment here in Sweden, but in India, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have different uh, treatments like bastis, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. also according to the condition. Mm -hmm. If it is a vata increased, if you have arthritis and other problems, then we suggest basti treatments, enemas. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, anything else before we wrap up? Any questions anyone has? I see people watching. If you have any questions, clarifications, feedback, you know, we can take live question right now if you want to. If not, you're welcome to comment as well after the live is over, but but we can take a question if you wanted to ask the question right now. Um, anything else that you'd like to add, Dr. Tejal, before we wrap up today? Um, I think just start with the small things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Start with small practices. Mm -hmm. And if you can make a journal, just note down whatever you have changed and how you feel after that change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just follow it for one week and next week try to add one more practice into that. Don't start everything at once. It is overwhelming for our body when we start everything at once. So start few things, just observe and follow it every day. Next week try to add few other things. And also very important about food is Try not to have kapha increasing food like milk, cheese, ice creams mm -hmm. or heavy food, red meat. 
mm-hmm. which is heavy to digest food mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. keep our digestive fire digestion very good right now especially sure sure uh, well someone is saying thank you very much any other questions feedback yes we are just trying to empower all of us through dr tejal right now because all of us need it uh, i think small things what you're saying is make small incremental changes you know that will at least not um, you know disturb our uh, routine that we already have but once you start making small incremental changes slowly and slowly that becomes a lifestyle right definitely yes mm-hmm. All right, thank you so much again, Dr. Teja. Someone else is saying thank you, ma'am. Well, you are welcome. You don't have to call us ma'am. Uh, with that, um, any other comments, let us know. Thank you so much, Dr. Teja, for helping us, giving us these tips, which are so needed right now in the whole world to really self care techniques for uh, boosting our immunity, right? And that's what we are hearing all over the world that how do you boost your immunity? These are simple, simple tricks that you, all of us can start doing it. Starting today, don't don't wait. So thank you and Namaste, Dr. Tejal, for being with us. Thank you, Amit.